Taurus, what your soul came to teach others. Your mission in this incarnation, you are teaching your fellow beings about a proper prosperity consciousness. You have incarnated with a very solid sense of moral, financial, and spiritual values and tend to draw to you people who need to have their value systems realigned. For example, people having financial difficulties who need to learn how to handle their resources properly and to build solid financial foundations. You understand intuitively that you can climb high only if you have a firm foundation to support you. This is why you can teach those around you how to make sure that every brick has been laid securely and mortared in before they take the next step. Choosing to withhold your knowledge of prosperity. You may choose not to share your knowledge and refuse to teach the basic economic structure that you understand so well. The result, you may experience the negative repercussions within your own family. You may be exposed to either a wife, a husband, a son, a daughter, a father, or mother who has severe financial difficulties, or somebody close to you may have to experience personal bankruptcy. You are only responsible to teach this lesson through your own example. If you choose to take it a step further, however, and actually assist others with your financial understanding, you are sharing yourself beyond the call of duty, which will lead to your lessons being eased in other areas. What is important is for you to keep your sense of value amid the financial havoc that you find all around you. Through this alone, you teach people a stronger sense of security and financial patience. Very often, you tend to draw to you people who are very impatient with their finances through your example of slowly and securely accomplishing your financial goals. You help to teach them patience. As everything falls apart, those around you recognize that you are still standing on solid ground. Thus, you help others to recognize the value of building on solid ground, and you can assist them in adding security to their lives. If you choose to teach the lesson of finances in a negative way, you will create havoc in the financial lives of those close to you. If you choose to teach the value of finances on a positive level, you can be of a great assistance to your family and associates. You can be extremely intuitive in knowing which investments will reap a profit. Others can benefit greatly if you help them plan their future in a practical manner. That allows room for growth while retaining a strong foundation. You do not take risks with anyone's resources. You are not one of the gamblers of the Zodiac. You are a builder. Your moral values. You choose to teach the lessons of moral values negatively. There will be the results that you will be viewed as a person of low moral character. You may cause disappointment and pain to those around you through a lack of proper value systems. But even if you choose this path, you still teach the most negative expression of all by setting yourself up as an example of self-destruction. If you teach moral values in a positive way, you will set a personal example with an impeccable reputation. In this mode, you are extremely monogamous, loyal, family oriented and concerned with family security and home stability. Due to your strong moral fiber and your stability within your family and community, you are usually found in a position of responsibility and high esteem. You are also here to teach the importance of having strong spiritual values. You may choose to teach spiritual responsibility in a negative way. Result, you will show yourself as a person having no regard for the collective consciousness or the God consciousness within yourself. Thus, you will not respect yourself or those around you, and you will work only for what you want and not for the good of all concerned. If you teach this lesson positively, 
you can show that the thread of universal consciousness and the need to work for the most good for the most people must begin within your own family and extend out to the rest of humanity. You teach that the respect you use in dealing with your fellow beings directly correlates to your own personal sense of self-respect and respect for the universe. You truly can be of spiritual value to those whose lives you touch. The negative expressions are rare cases in this eclipse pattern, since the majority have been born with an advanced consciousness. You usually choose to teach your lessons by your own good example, by strengthening the values of others, and by being a worthwhile asset to the world. Recognizing true value. You can validate the good you see in others, thereby strengthening their positive direction. You naturally recognize the value in everything. Most important, you intuitively understand the worth of the human spirit, the human heart, and the human desire that prods us all to achievement. Through understanding this value and appreciating your fellow beings, you teach others to treasure themselves. If you do not value yourself, you cannot achieve anything because you think you are not worthy of the achievement. Quite often in your lifetime, you will meet people who are down on their luck and have very little feelings of self-worth. You have the ability to assist them in finding their sense of value from the core of their own being. With sensitivity and patience, you can put them in contact with their own inner beauty, the essence of the God consciousness within. Then through logic and perseverance, you can aid them in removing the debris that has hidden their true value. Career choices. Your innate appreciation for the natural beauty of the earth allows you to walk on its surface and experience its peaceful nourishment. You are very much in touch with all the senses of the body. Through your enjoyment, you teach and inspire others to enjoy their senses as well. You would be an excellent artist, for you can physically manifest your appreciation of beauty, art, and nature, thus enabling others to appreciate the beauty you see in all that surrounds us. You are a sculptor, a builder, an engineer, or architect. If only with sand on the beach, you were born to mold. Your career choices would do well as a loan officer, financial advisor, accountant, bookkeeper, office controller, or a position in the building or a financial industry. With your natural ability to understand financial resources, choosing one of these avenues affords you a place to offer your services where you can be of maximum benefit to your fellow beings. Any field that requires building a solid foundation can benefit from your talents. If you choose not to help others professionally in these areas, you will still be teaching those around you the values of having a strong foundation. You understand your home life as well as in your business life what it means to say, the buck stops here. If your prenatal eclipse is the lunar eclipse, this is what your soul is learning to emotionally embrace. In this incarnation, your lesson is to develop a proper prosperity consciousness. There were past life influences. And so you came from the previous existence that was extremely spiritual, but materially poverty stricken. Some of you took vows of poverty in the past incarnations in order to focus your energy fully on your spiritual development. Thus, you came into this incarnation with the false idea that money and spirituality are never to be blended. You studied a great deal on the spiritual level, and exposure to those who misuse resources taught you to distrust anyone who had money. Consequently, during this existence, you may tend to self-destruct where finances are concerned. Many of you recognize that your quest is to learn how to handle money, and you have a strong desire and need for it. Yet due to this self-destruct mechanism, 
When you reach a state of comfort, you may do something on a subconscious level to destroy your financial position so that you can feel good about yourself spiritually. You may have misused other people's resources and did not give adequate service for what you charged. In order to overcome a feeling of guilt and a fear of overcharging for your services, you tend to undercharge in this lifetime. You need to understand that in undercharging, you are overcompensating and actually you're stealing from yourself. To bring this into balance, you need to realize that the appropriate fee to charge is the equivalent value of the services rendered. Combining spirituality and money. You are here to learn that money can have spiritual power. When you allow your spirituality to manifest through good works that support your fellow beings, money is a natural byproduct of that service. Part of your lesson is to learn that money is not a negative. Money is simply another aspect of life that needs to be mastered. You have mastered how to have nothing and still keep a proper spiritual consciousness. In this lifetime, it is your turn to learn how to have. You are discovering that having money isn't what matters, but it is what you do with the money and the ways in which you obtain the money. You are learning to recognize that it is all right to have. The universe is concerned only with how you acquire what you have and what you do with it. Your job is to learn to manifest the abundance of the universe and feel free to have and enjoy the comforts of life. Self-worth is not measured by money. You need to learn not to measure your self-worth or the worth of others by their wealth or their material possessions. This would be a negative pattern for you since any judgments you pass on others limits your own sense of freedom and self-worth. You are learning how to have without judging those around you. You are learning how to have without judging those around you. You still want to keep your spiritual values, yet you recognize that everyone is walking a different path. And this time your path leads to material prosperity. Now is the time for you to learn to accept money and allow it to validate your efforts and the spiritual energy that you are sharing. You are learning that it is natural for the universe to reward you with money when you give service to others.